So let's say you walk into a classroom and using your mobile device, you scan a QR code. It adds a contact to your address book that's called share with me. And then you sit down and the teacher has a task for you. They, um, I'll give you a little URL. So it says bit.ly slash today's lesson. And when you go to that in your device, it downloads a smart notebook file, let's say, to your device. And inside there, there's a little task that you have to do. The kind of task I'm thinking of, you might want to look it up at the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives called Diffy, D-I-F-F-Y. So I want you to play with that. I want you to make some of your own Diffies, and I want you to explore some patterns and tell me what you find in that pattern. Um, can you make any generalizations? Just play with it and talk to each other. When you've got a Diffy that you want to share with the class, um, put that in one of your smart notebook pages and share by email to that email address. Share with me, just start typing. SH, the email address comes up and it appears naturally in a set of files that I have on my own computer that I have access to and then we can discuss that as a class. So I'm reading a new culture of learning and in there, in chapter six, they talk about how now we, we know, and then we make, and then we play. But I think we need to reverse that in the way that we teach. First we need to play, then we make something with what we're playing with, and then we might know it. Play with Diffie and let me know what you learn.